Welcome back to the baby. Welcome back. <laughs> you know, I'm restarting. <laughs> <laughs> All right, fuck it. Welcome back well, to the no, basement. I, uh, <laughs> I went like this. <laughs> fucking, what the fuck was that? I don't know. Who are you? I, I was like, welcome back. <laughs> that was a big time move. PowerPoint was a big time move back in like 2011, 2012. What the fuck are you talking like, about? Like people in pictures would just be like... Oh, I think that PowerPoint like presentation. <laughs> no, I was like, dude, what? PowerPoint was big though. Yeah, yeah, I did a lot of projects on that. Did you? I had to give a whole fucking uh, Earth science presentation on rocks. What kind of rocks there are? There are three. Go ahead. Sedient, close, sedimentary. <laughs> what are the other two? Brick. Nope. Can I get a letter? M. Metamorphosis, metamorphical, Meta metamorphosis, metamorphic. metamorphic, metamorphic. Close. Why can't you say that? <laughs> metamorphic. And then there's one more letter I. Uh, Iroquois. That's Very a tribe. Good. No, that's oh. a tribe. I know. You're not gonna fool me I with know. that, you I, bastard. You've gotten me with no, that. No, the I is, is a in in the in the it, so it's, it's an end end something. In, come on, in, come in, on. It's not Indonesian. Come but on, I say that. you're right there. It's in, 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 indestructible, indescribable. It's. <laughs> I guess you're not wrong. <laughs> what is it? Igneous. Oh. Oh, oh, Frankie knows rocks. I know fucking rocks, babe. God forbid I name a rock. Oh, rock Joe. Fuck you all. Oh, that, that's, I am so glad that we have just fucking trained the internet. Anytime you do something to just be like, you'll like post a picture, you listen to a song, be like, oh, music Joe, lover, music lover Joe, yeah. fucking our, artist Joe. Yeah. No, 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 it's no, good. No, we got him. Speaking of, I don't know how this bad transition. I got recognized this weekend. Nice. Yes. I, I legitimately enjoy it. I'm not like you. I know what, you hate in it. Jersey. Yeah, no, I don't hate it. You hate it. You hate it. <laughs> I legitimately enjoy it because, like, people like. I feel like people always get nervous to like go up to people and they're like, "Oh my god, I'm so nervous." Blah, blah, blah. Or like, "Yo, dude, I'm so nervous." Blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, they, <laughs> I just like try to make people feel happy and like welcome. But this one was good. Okay. So, uh, start rattling off a couple of celebrities I've been told they look like. Go ahead. Go. Uh, no one. Well, no, I have been. So go. The Who, ones that you say or the yes, ones that yeah. you actually look yeah, like? Yeah, yeah, Uh, I don't know. You've said like Brad Pitt, Leonardo DiCaprio, yep. Jason Momoa. Yeah. The Rock, I think you've said. Well, when he was skinnier. Oh, yeah. Yeah. When? Eighth grade? <laughs> Fucking he was a skinny boy in eighth grade. Uh, no. I got recognized as Joe Santagato. Shut the yeah, fuck up. <laughs> I swear to God. I don't know if that says something good about me. Wait, hold on. Someone ran up on you and was like, you're Joe. Not ran up. Hold on. All Slow right. down. You know what I mean. They pulled up out the van. With, pulled up on you. Th they were walking their dog. And they were like... Oh. They, they did that? They did that. Oh, oh you. I'm oh, sorry. And he, he apologized. I was like, I'm sorry. You looked like someone I follow on Instagram. I'm like, who? And he goes, oh, this kid, Joe. I was like, I look like Joe. And he's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was like, Joe Santagato? He's like, yeah. And he thought I was you. <laughs> really? Yeah. <laughs> he so I can add it to the list of people I look like. And I said, I was like, no, I, we host the show together. Uh, the basement. He's like, oh, yeah, what's up, man? I was like, yeah, I'm Frank. He's like, oh, shit, what's up, dude? And uh, Whoa, what was he that? He didn't do the tongue. Oh, I was, was going to say, I was, damn, I was, dude. I was in character. He was sending you sni sni signals, I tried to say. Snatchy <laughs> signals, I yeah. guess. I was in character. That's why the tongue came out. Oh, but now I can add it. Now people say I look like you. I, Which that one hurts a little bit, and I don't think it's true. Well, yeah, I it's not because I don't I don't wear that stupid fucking hair. Well, what you have bangs right now because it's down, but I comb it over. It doesn't matter. It still looks like shit. Look at you go! I'm fucking on fire. <laughs> Jesus, it's hot in here. That means that you're upset that he recognized you because you're no, like, well, I like, my hair so much better. I like I like it's that all I have. And then after I was like, I'm Joe Santagato, and I screamed a couple like you know like. Racial slurs and homophobic things at him. Oh, cool. Just so everyone knows, like, who I am. Right. You know, what Joe thinks of the world. Appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> Could you fucking imagine? Yeah. Like, yo, I saw someone in Manhattan three weeks ago. Homeless man just rattling off racial slurs. Really? Like, yo, letting them fly. And bombing? All of them. What, what kind of, what, what was he? He was he was a white man, yeah, or like a or like a like a dirty white. I was gonna say a dirty white, like a dirty, white. like a very tanned white. You're like, like you've, a, been, you've been out cooking in the sun. He needs a shower, and it'll take a couple of you know tones down. Yeah, he will look less European. Yeah, it, yeah. I wouldn't. Even, he would look less like Egyptian. Uh, gotcha, gotcha. You gotcha. know, uh, but he was just letting them fly. Yeah, and so I was like, there were cops in right there. I was like, 
I actually had a... Re- well, what are the cops going to do? Arrest him for saying the N-word? I would assume so. Is that an offense? <sighs> I think if you're, like, punching someone and saying... And it. saying it, yeah. I don't know. Like, I would hope that just saying it is like saying fire in a movie theater, you know? Like, you're inciting... Fire in a movie theater? That's illegal. Really? Yeah. If you... In a movie theater, if you scream fire, you can get arrested if there's no actual fire. What if you say, like, yo, fire? That's fire, dude. <laughs> You're like, yeah, you're getting arrested, dude. It's like, yo, make your movie less cool. Yeah. <laughs> fire, dude. Can you what? imagine being the fire? <laughs> fire! <laughs> Grab the kids! Get out of your chairs! Oh, my God. That would be you ever think about that? When we were in school, it's like, oh, yo, there's a, an earthquake. Get onto your desk. I'm like, what the fuck is that going to do? Because they would, like, back in the in like the, like 80s, they would, tr- like, teach kids, like, Oh, there's a nuclear alarm. Get under your desks. And like our school, I don't know if you remember, our school had a fallout shelter. Yeah, it did. I do remember that. But it's like usually we would just get under our desk and be like, oh, this is a silver drill or whatever the fuck. Mr. Silver and Mr. Gold. Yeah, Mr. Gold was like a shooter. Uh, I don't know if they were teaching shooter at that point. No, they were. I remember it's, uh, silver was uh, just an intruder. Like no one knew. Oh. And then gold, yeah, I think gold was like someone has a weapon. Yeah, they'd be like, Mr. Gold is in the building. And then everyone would scramble to get under their desks. Which, let's be honest about something real quick. If you're going to do that to, like, teach kids, have a less cool name. If I heard Mr. Gold, I'm like, yo, who? I'm <laughs> yeah. curious. I'm going to get this guy on my Instagram Who's, story. <laughs> <laughs> who is this guy? I kind of want to talk yeah, to him. Yeah, do like Mr. Like, like what's a shit color? Like or a, just say, like, like a, we, got a, we got a big fat problem on yeah. our hands. <laughs> <laughs> Over the loudspeaker. <laughs> Just like, oh crap, we got a big, <laughs> big fat problem. Hide. <laughs> Just use that instead of these fucking, like, terminologies. <laughs> oh crap, we got a big fat problem. Yeah. Sound the alarm. <laughs> Why do we have to, like, just, like, dress it up? Just say it as it is. Mr. Gold, bro. Also, like, we know what's going on. The teacher has to explain it. She's like, Mr. Gold's a guy who has a weapon that sh- shoots bullets. And I'm like, just say gun. Well, I remember they would also say, like, knives and, sh- and like, stuff like that, too. Bro, how are you going to take over a school with a knife? A big old one, like a machete. Whatever, bro. We got a, we got a whole kitchen staff full of crazy old women. You know, remember those women in fifth grade? You go there try to get a triangle, a, a triangle, a fucking rectangle pizza, and they put, like, peas on it. I'm like, bitch, I don't want the peas on my shit. Or one time, I remember there was, like, some mixed vegetable bullshit cauliflower medley. A medley. You like that. Yeah, so she would put the medley and then she put the pizza on it. I was like, what delicacy is this? I kind of, like, I am still astonished at what we were eating when we were that age. Because it was, you were eating, like, pizza out of a fucking hole in a brick wall in a school. That yeah. smelled like fucking geriatric feet. Yeah, all the, all the... <laughs> All the lunch women, <laughs> lunch ladies. I was trying to be polite. Well, there was a lunch man. There was a lunch. Was man. there a lunch man? I don't remember lunch boy. I'm pretty sure he like. <laughs> I'm pretty sure he just like stocked up on all the shit. Did he? Yeah, he was like a runner. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I didn't know that. But all the lunch women were uh, very old. Very old. There's never any like sexy lunch women. You know? uh, yeah, I don't remember. It's any- always old women who have like a back problem. And then like the like the the the. Like, what are they called? Like, the aides at the... Uh, oh, dude. At lunch. Like, they would be the ones we like, line up in alphabetical order. We had, like, Miss Lynch, Miss Rodriguez. Yeah. There were some... Miss Vinny. Damn, Miss Vinny. Miss Vin- oh, her daughter. Remember Miss Vinny's daughter? Yeah, Miss... Miss M- 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 Miss Amanda. Yeah. That was the She got only- married, but I forget her last name now. Yeah, no one cares about it. Yep. That was, like, the only good-looking part of lunchtime as a child. Yeah. I remember her. Everyone else, they sucked. Yeah. But what are you going to do? You, just, you go to lunch, you eat a triangle pizza. I keep saying triangle. Yeah, pizza is normally triangle. Tri- That's okay. You want to talk <laughs> into the mic or no? P- pizza yeah. is normally triang- triangular. Triangular. I had a rectangle pizza. I'd get a nosebleed and I'd go play kickball. That was my life. And that's it. Maybe. K through five. That was my life. If it was raining out, you best believe those knock hockey boys are coming out. Or I'm just like yu gi oh on someone's face. Fuck yeah. Attack. <laughs> Attack. Yeah, dude. Not defense. Yeah. Magic card, trap card, I got them all. What? I wish I had my Yu-Gi-Oh card still. You remember that? Do you ever play that Magic the Gathering, Gathering... Oh. No, that's that was... That and D&D were like where I drew the line. It's D&D. Dungeons and Dragons. Oh, yeah. Did I ever tell you I was asked to be on a D&D show? Like when? Uh, like a year ago. 
What? Yeah, like a year ago, I was asked. To what be, do you do on the show? Are you so, were you the dungeon or the dragon? I was neither of the dungeon or the dragon. I was um, asked to be on the show, and it might have been a little more than a year ago. But it was. I'm not going to name the show because I believe they're still going on. They were awesome people, really, really nice, really kind. Stop justifying this. But I just couldn't. Like I didn't feel like I was the right fit. So it was like a podcast. And apparently, yo, Dungeons and Dragons podcasts are fucking big old boys. They're big podcasts? They're big. They're some that have like fucking like 40,000 patrons. Dude, a lot of people like, god damn. Some people like love dragons, dude. Dungeons also are kind of dope. There's like a lot of like celebrities and shit. First of all, any, I I'd wish fuck any, with, I'd, I could fuck with a dungeon. A dun and a dragon. Well, it really depends if it's locked up or not. How nice it is. I don't want to get If the dragon is in the dungeon. Then we got it. A, a separate part of the dungeon with a big glass thing. So and I like a see. cool dungeon with like torches, not like a scary one. With yeah. Like no fluorescent lights. I don't want any cool like lights in anything neon. I'm not in it. Yeah, no. But a dungeon though, that's like brick, steel, torches. Maybe there's like some spider webs. <laughs> I thought you were going to say torture. I was going to say, uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, there's got to be torture in the background. There, I think they need to acknowledge that torture had happened, but like at that point, no torture. No, I'd like to hear some torture like in the distance. <gasps> Yeah, and then I go, yo, what was that? And they're like, forget, it's, it's... Don't worry about it. And then I, they don't even give an answer. They're just like, yeah. you know. and I go, oh, okay. What is that? Yes. And you go, right on. Okay, <laughs> all right, radical. Yeah. Uh, but they asked me, and it was like... That'd be a cool restaurant idea. A dungeon? Yeah, just Pretty like... Pretty sure they had that in medieval times. Nah, bro, it's not a dungeon. That's a children's fucking... When was the last time you went? Uh, when we went in like second grade, I want to. I know I want to go back. So I was so bad. hyped because I ate chicken with my hands. I was like, "Yo, my mom would be tight right now." Bro, they gave me chicken with my hands on a plate and a bowl of soup, and they were like, "Figure it out." Yeah, and I'm like, "Bro, am I supposed to scoop this?" And soup? then a fucking Pepsi. A Pepsi is <laughs> like, I was yeah. so in like. Wait, you've been to medieval times like recently? No, no, I wish it's in Jersey. That's on my. That's all. Let's go to medieval times. Just mean. Yeah. I don't know if they're open right now. Are they? What you mean like COVID? Yeah. Dude, I'll just wear a helmet. <laughs> I don't think that's how that works, Joey. Yeah, you can't get COVID if you're wearing a steel helmet or like chain mail. Yo, chain mail, by the way. I wish. Genius invention. I, I wish. If I was wearing chain mail, like you literally can't stab me. You think how cra you know how crazy that is? <sighs> They're open? Medieval times is going. Is babe. it expensive? Can we get like a VIP I'll like tell you right now? I'll I want right to sit now. with the king or whatever the fuck. I, I definitely I want to joust. I want to like spend five hundred dollars on a ticket. I don't want. <laughs> all right, buy tickets for medieval times. Do they serve alcoholic beverages? Because that could get dirty. Holy shit! These guys they sell out. They're sold out. Oh no, that's just for this weekend. All right, yo. If we were to go on like a Thursday at seven p.m. hypothetically, what thirsty Thursday at medieval times? <laughs> How much, bro? A lot. What do you think an adult ticket is? One twenty. No, not that high. Oh, okay, like sixty-five. Eighty-three. That's not cheap. That is why. why By the way, for anyone who doesn't know, do you think people don't know what that is? Medieval times? Yeah. Yeah, they don't. So medieval times, like we went to, we went when we were in like second grade or something. It's basically like a, it's like <laughs> medieval times, and you go to this uh, place and you sit in the crowd, and there's a bunch of knights and they joust each other, but it's like a show. So it's like an old, like, like a knight's if you ever tale. Saw, exactly. If you ever saw the movie A Knight's Tale, imagine yeah. if you were there eating and watching. And so, like, you can like kill people with your thumb. Yeah. Like they tell him like, yo, should I kill this guy? And every time we're like, yeah, kill this fucking guy. All right. So uh, they have they have different packages. The Queen's royalty upgrade. Nah, bro. We want kings. Fuck queens. They, it goes as high as king. I mean, queen. That's it, it goes as high as queen. That's progressive. Go ahead. Queen is <laughs> um, dinner and a show. Uh, they have vegan, vegetarian, and gluten-free meals. Good for them. Oh, that's stupid. I want to get sick. A VIP lanyard. <laughs> you get a VIP lanyard and your own cheering banner in the color of your night. Oh, hell yeah. To wave proudly. All right, I'm picking three, two, one, blue. Yeah, I mean, what else are we going to do? Best seats in the house, first or second row in the center. Bro, first row? I'm I mean, trying to get some dirt on me. Frame pictures. Mm -hmm. Of the of the crew, and you get hats when you leave. These are like ninety bucks each. Also, you know what I remember? I remember going to the gift shop. I got an axe. I got an axe and a shield. Ooh. 
I got a shield. I was ready. Bitch. To, yo, the parking lot, that's where I was at. I was, Bro, I, I had a wooden axe. Asking motherfuckers. I got, what? I had two wooden axes, and I was Gimli 100%. Damn. If you think for a single second I wasn't Gimli, yeah. I was axing people in the axe. Yeah. You know what I mean? Uh-huh. But, so I did a dungeon. They asked me to do it, and they were like, oh, do you want to like do like a test episode to see like how you feel? And it was like, all right, you walk to the gates of Mordor, and uh, there is... Uh, a, a level 12 uh, pat, uh, paladin there. Uh, you go up to talk to him. What do you say? And it, like, yo, you freestyle the whole thing. And depending on like what you say, they roll like dice for it. So it'll be like, this is confidence dice. This is theft dice. This is, you know, a temptation. You could just straight up rob a paladin. I could be like, yo, like I walk up to him and I fucking slit his throat. And it's like, all right, well, let's roll your combat to see if you're going to kill him. You should have been like, yo, suck his dick off. And they would have been like, let's see your fucking, your sex dice. Yeah. <laughs> Lick neck. You know? <laughs> I know, Poppy, just get to know him. Like, kiss him on his neck, man. Like, breathe on him a little bit. Let him know I'm here. But I remember my character was like this, like, over, like, confident douchebag that, like, was trying to be woke, but, like, couldn't figure it out. That sounds about right. You sound, it, well, <laughs> well, hold on. For me, No. No, it was no. making fun of someone we knew. So you, so you, <laughs> it's fuck. It. So you have to play a character. Yeah, and I think my <laughs> name was like Xander or something awesome. Why the fuck did they pick you for this? They just said like, hey, like we we think like we're doing a bunch of like we're getting some other people and like people from podcasts and influencers and blah blah blah. Damn, dude. And I was I, I was Good there. For them. And but I didn't end up doing it. I hope I I I all oh, I think they're doing well. Did you really like buy in? Were you like, oh, I'm gonna like, th- I'm gonna like, put a f- crazy spell on him? I remember there was one time it was like I was gonna talk this guy up to seduce this like dragon woman, and it was like you Damn. got the, you got this, bro. And they're like, all right, let's roll our seduction dice. And no like, way, there's seduction dice. There's dice for everything. Dude, seduction dice. Roll that shit. Come on, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah. Wait, what happens? So if you roll a one, you're like not that cool. If you get roll, you roll one, a six, you're getting fucked. If it's like no, there's some that go up to like twenty eight. Twenty eight. Oh, level twenty eight seduction, dude. Someone's getting their cock sucked off. <laughs> Jesus Christ. There's a lot of levels. Yeah. We need to get some seduction dice That's in here. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, That's we gotta what... get some dice. You want to? Yeah, we can play. Well, I know. I just you know. But it's like they have games and they call them campaigns that go on for like thirty years. There are like celebrity, like Joe Mangello, Manganiello. Oh, the smoky guy. Yeah, the guy. That, remember, I told you when I have gray hair. Someone said I would look like him. Him. Okay. The one with Sofia Vergara. First of all, no, but okay, yes, I know who you're talking about. Well, there you go. Thank He's you. He's part of a Dungeons and Jag- Dragons League. He has a room in his house that's just a Dungeons and Dragons room. No, he doesn't. You didn't see this? And he plays with, like, James Gunn, The Big Show, fucking random ass people. Yeah. What? Yeah, 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 yeah. Wait, time out. So the elites of Hollywood are playing Dungeons and Dragons together? Yes. Okay, the conspiracy where they're all, like, there's like a bunch of weird blood sacrifices. I now believe it because you're saying this. Bro, if I showed you, look at this image. Oh, like they like get into it. Why the fuck? Is it like live streamed or something? Sometimes they live stream them. And they're just rolling seduction dice. He has like a whole room in his house that looks like a fucking like 12th century castle. What the fuck? Isn't that sick? No. Can you imagine? It isn't. Can you imagine going into Joe Mangello's Wait, house? This dude has like a little city on his desk. Yes, they have like trees, and it's like, yo, you've made it to like the fucking mystical city of Lingbong. <laughs> I'm not making fun. Like, yo, it's it is a really like intense. And, nah, like, I've tight- done I've done nerdy shit in my day, but that's just like that's 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 wild. I just didn't expect James Gunn and Joe Mangianello to be playing together. It says here that he plays at the Gary Gygax Memorial Dungeon. That's an awesome last There's name. Some more, someone died in this dungeon? I don't think he died. I think that's the person that made it. Oh, I thought there was like a fucking... Jesus, oh, dude. Imagine that was your character? That looks sick. Are you kidding me? Yeah, but like... Dungeon Dragon Wizard? Arcane, Arcane the Cruel. Fire, dude. <laughs> I don't even know what to say at this point. I don't like, know how we got of... here, if I'm being honest with it, you. We're talking about dungeons and shit. But yeah, and I got like... recognized as Joe. So I'm now... Yeah. And now I can add that to my list. I Joe saying I got a look alike. You'd fuck in a dungeon? Would I? Yeah. 
Like, you, what you, kind? Like, you, a legit dungeon or, like, fucking Fifty Shades, like, Red Room dungeon? Nah, nah. I'm talking about you stumble upon a dungeon and it's, like, it's lit by torches and, like, there's a skull and you're like, is that an animal or is it, a, like, a you know... A skull on a spike. Yeah, it's like, is that an animal or is that, like, You're looking you know, for, like, booby traps? Well, you're looking for fucking booby flaps. Yeah, bo- yeah booby, booby, booby bags. Booby bags. Um... <laughs> And uh, so, like, you know what I'm saying? And, like, there's just, like, a wooden table, but it's got, like, a soft tablecloth on it, and there's, like, a Croatian flag, and you're like, what the fuck? But then you just why, ignore why, it. Why Croatian? I don't know. I'm just trying to throw some, like, just culture evil, in there. evil things. Yeah. <laughs> the Croatians are nice, the aren't cro- they? The cro- uh, cro- Croats? No, the... the cro- oh, I don't know. Croatians, I, that might be it. Croatians is right. I don't want to shorten anything. All right, so, all right, paint the picture. I'm closing my eyes, walking through this dungeon. Do I come down steps, or is it like I walk into, like, a boulder? Dude, obviously you walk down steps. Okay, I'm down these steps. You walk down steps, and, like, there's a, a perfectly lit hallway ahead of you, but... How long? Oh, it's long, baby. Long highway, yeah, yeah. you can't even see how far it is. But uh, you go to lean against the wall, because you're like, this is going to be a long walk, and then you hit a door. In, and a, in a stone button? Yeah, and then the door opens, and then you walk in, right? And there's, like, torches everywhere, and uh, there's there's a there's a skull and you're like, I don't know if that's a, like, you know what I'm saying? I don't know if that's like a, I mean, if I'm being honest, you had me at long hallway. You like long hallways? I think like there's something sexual about walking to sex and it just down a long, long hallway. You know what I mean? What? Like you're like, the anticipation is like, oh shit, I'm only at fucking torch eight. Oh, like a hotel? Yeah. Well, maybe not. Hotels have really long hallways. Maybe. I feel like when you're a kid, you like long hallways because you like to run up and down. Bro, like a, you sp- I've never felt faster than the time I've sprint, sprout, sprinted, sprinted in hallways. Sprout, dude. Bro, let's be honest. The fastest. Uh, did you ever like in any of the schools you went to run in a school? Like I'm talking like through the hallways, like boom. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> On actually parent teacher conference when like there was no one really around at night I'd run around that's right, that's I'd, right. I'd get some I get some reps in you get your reps in yeah run around that's why I would do that but um, yeah I don't know something about a dungeon just kind of seems kind of cool to me I'd be scared because I don't really like being underground especially in like creepy territory when there's like skulls because I'm like I don't know if this is a, like, have a, you been there before nah but I'm just like picturing it you know that's like I feel like there's always mouse there's mice and there's um, that's like that's a shocker because Spurlunk I, I feel like Spurlunker Joe is just common any day now who's that what does that mean you, sp- you don't know what Spurlunking is like cave cave diving cave climbing Spurlunk yeah no, I have no idea what that is. You don't know what a sp- spurlunking is like going cave diving. You ever see that movie, The Descent? Yeah. They were spurlunking. So like, but like in water? No, I mean, it could be water sometimes, but Dude, like- Dude, I don't fuck with caves at all. I don't know how they're a real. Like how, how is something that hollow under stuff that heavy? I don't know, but I'm not going to be there when it closes. If it closes, that's the thing. It's well, like- I, I can watch video, well, like videos of people like- crawling through I'm like bro you guys are fucking idiots those like videos, I get so fucking mad those videos of people like in Hawaii and it's like they go into a rock opening this big and it's like water bro how I'm like no how way. do you got I, I, I would just, be I would be dead yeah I, I would be dead because I wouldn't make it through that's yes I oh god I can't even think about it. it. Like it out. freaks me out. It freaks me out. Or, too. I saw a video of a guy. He was like stuck in like this small little ice cavern, and he's wearing like a fucking one of those uh, helmet lights. And I'm like, why'd you go in here? Yeah, don't. Everyone's like, yo, like I want a fucking adventure, like climb Mount Everest and go through ice caves. And- How is a tight, dark hole, ice hole, fucking cool? It's. Uh, I'll tell you how. I'll tell you what. Why not? <laughs> a dark. Warm, warm hole. hole that's dope now we're talking but a dark hot uh, like cold hole if you were like in the desert and there was a hole and it was just like yo go in it you but doing nah, it nah bro mummies I've seen those movies it's mummies yeah there's when you yo mad dust a cave there's there's spirits in there dude there's a there's a fucking bird in I there I just think of Aladdin like walking into the mouth of a dragon like a fucking sand tiger and it just like closing on me nah bro you got problems there nah I'm afraid to even jump into like running water and shit like people like just walk into fucking uh waterfalls and shit i'm mad afraid of that i feel like there's like these little microbes i don't even know what that is you know you're you're right i'm with you on that the ones that like swim up your penis and then just like hold on to the walls bro i heard that one time and it ruined waterfalls for me they were like oh don't pee in water because like that helps the warm stream helps the microbes like fucking like rock climb their way into your cock yeah 
I heard that you could not even be in the water, standing outside of it, pissing into the water, and they could climb up your stream. Bro, th- honestly, if they do that, good on them. They deserve to be there. Yeah, they deserve this dick. But I don't know. I, I, it. When, once I heard that, I was like, I, I'm done with water. Bro, if you can climb up my pee hole, you deserve to be in there, because that is that is hard. I find it hard to believe that something could fit inside my pee hole. Bro, there are things that are super small. Absolutely. No, I can't. I, I got a small pee hole, dude. Would you, like smaller than usual? That's like a really. Yeah, when I was younger, I had to go to the doctor. Stop. I'm serious. Hold on. What? <laughs> when when I was born, they had to open your pee pee. Yeah. But no. I wasn't. But I wasn't. No. I wasn't. Su- no. I wasn't super no. young. No. No. I wasn't. I can't, this cannot be real. I wasn't super young. I was like eight. Bro, I think I saw your dick when you were eight. What was wrong with it? I had to. I. I. It was like I couldn't get pee out quick enough because of the uh, the opening of my dick. So what did they do? I don't know. I'm making this up. Oh. <laughs> Come on, you can't do that. You cannot do that. I was ready to like call your mom and be like, tell me about your son's cock. <laughs> oh my God. Nah. I never had PP problems as a kid. Me neither. I, 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 I've said this before, obviously, but I used to stretch open my pee hole. Oh, fuck it. You, you've tried. Yeah. <laughs> I don't really want to go there. I do it all. I used to do it all with my. You ever take <laughs> go your skin? And try to fit the, like, yeah. push your dick in yeah. and then cover the whole thing with skin. Close it up like an envelope. And then you put your balls over that. I know what I'm doing. I, yo, I swear to God. I've done every, everything I, you could do with a dick, I've done it. I, except suck it. Yeah, well, God willing, without the, <laughs> if I got a rib removed. Maybe. I've made my dick disappear. <laughs> gone. Like, yo, gone. Go into that. I can, like, if I wanted to, I could, like, not now, but, like, when I was younger, I could fucking fold and maneuver and, like, fucking move shit around. Like, Tetris. Like, I can make it look like I was just, like... Move shit around? You could renovate your dick? How much... Just, like, push everything in, cover, you know, just kind of fucking... Tie it up. Not tie, but, you Tape it? If I wanted to. Glue, yeah. I'm just saying, like, I can make it look like I was a Ken doll down there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm saying you pull your ball sack over it. Yeah, not anymore, though. Now... It's too much penis. <laughs> uh, no, it would really depend on the weather, though. Yeah. Yo, how tight does your ball sack get in the cold? Bro, like a butthole. <laughs> it's crazy. Yo, my balls are sensitive. And also opposite sensitive, because the second I jump into, like, a jacuzzi, my balls are like, hello. <laughs> and they just kind of, like, fall about. Just like butter in a fryer. Dude, literally, Yes. It's insane. Exactly they just melt. Mean. They're just like, hello. We are here to stay. I know exactly yeah. what you mean. They just spill out all over my pants. I think I like almost like ruined my balls because I would. my uncle used to have a jacuzzi and pool right next to each other, so I would jump from one to the other rapidly. Oh, so it was just like this. It was like, it, yeah. It was like my balls were just like, what do we do? Touch and go. You know what I mean? It's yeah. like, you know, when people can like touch stuff really hot really quickly? Yeah. The body doesn't know how to react. My balls were very confused. Yeah. Yeah, that was a long day for them. Probably. It was a confusing day for my balls. Yeah. How? What the hell are we talking? How about? did we get here? I don't know. Should we do ads? No. Oh, by the way, one thing I wanted to talk about was uh, <laughs> Jeff uh, Bezos going to space. Um, <laughs> you did it, dude. That guy. One thing I want to say. Two things actually. One. Why are we going to space? Don't do it. You're going to fuck with something and something's going to fuck on you. Bro, we're going to go out there and we're going to be like, oh, and then we're going to see something go, hey, and then it's just going to evaporate us. Meow. The fact, you know, there's that, that saying like we're either alone in the universe or we're not. Both are equally, ter- like both uh, options are equally terrifying. If we don't know at this point, as advanced as we are, we're fucked. You know what I mean? Like, I'd rather not know the answers. Yeah, stuff. like people are like, "Yo, I want to know. Is there anybody out there? I don't need to." It's like, bro, I just want to watch the Yankee game. I'm, ignorance is fucking bliss. Space ignorance is bliss. I don't want to know about space. There's at all nothing out there. Like people are also like, "Oh, the view of what Earth." Why? Who fucking cares? Who the fuck cares what Earth looks like? Bro, I don't even like looking at my apartment building. Yeah. Like, you think I, I give a shit about the whole Earth? It takes me all of 20 seconds to get over a view. Yeah. 
I'd be in space looking at Earth and being like, first of all, this doesn't look real. I'd be like, this looks fake. And then I'd go, cool. All right, next. You think I'm just going to sit there and just be in awe? You know, like, oh, look, that's Mars. And it's a fucking... Yeah, and I'm like, I don't fucking care. How do you know? How do you know that's Mars? How can you care when, like... Oh, look at the sun. Don't care about that either. There's people on Earth doing standing 69. You think a view of South America from space is going to change my life when that's happening? I don't give a fuck what it looks like. And also, like, to go to that length to figure it out, don't, don't care. You know how you get there? Strap yourself in a speeding rocket. Are you fucking insane? Yeah. Dude, I'm cool here. You guys went to space for a sec. And they were like, oh, uh, best, I hope it works. I hope this thing doesn't combust. You're going to go through 30 layers of gas that can fucking evaporate you in an instant. It's just like... I, I don't know. I, I don't get it. The Earth is cool, but not that cool. I, I the just, moon? Don't care. Big oh ball of dirt. God. Big ball of dirt, dude. Big ball of dirt. It's a dog park up there. What are you going to find on the moon that we didn't know already existed? You think you think they haven't already drilled into the moon? They're drilling. They've been drilling. Yo, I can tell you this right now. I'd rather go to a bar than the moon. Like literally any bar. Yeah, I would too. Like going to the moon. Like you're going to get there and be like, it's dark, it's cold, and there's just dust everywhere. Is it and cold? I go, cool, I'd rather, be, I'd rather have a butt. Is it cold out there? It's got to be. Yeah, it's freezing, I dude. Think it's like hot. No, on, on the moon. And it smells apparently like rotten eggs, just Bro. like sulfur. Bro, you're, are, where the fuck? Are, you talk to Buzz? You talk to Buzz Aldrin? <laughs> I've heard of things yeah. that I'm reporting on here. Buzz and Neil? Um, I, Joey, I used to think, by the way, I used to think Lance Armstrong and Neil Armstrong were the same person. So when Lance Armstrong was winning all those titles, I was like, bro, this guy is unbelievable. Well, this dude been to the moon. He's winning the Tour de France. He can do it all. This guy's crushing. He it. can do it all. Medieval times or the moon? Which one are you going to? What? Bro, one of them, I get chicken and I get to eat with my hands. You go to space, you got to eat like chicken that's powder or like water in a pouch. If it ain't Capri Sun, keep your pouch. Fuck your pouch. Bro, you can't cry in space. You can definitely cry at medieval times. Yeah, dude. You and know I'm, exactly where I'm make going. Make no mistake, I'm trying to cry. I want to I wanna cry at medieval times. I would like to fuck with no gravity. I think that would be cool. We could do that on Earth. We figured out ways to do that here. Yeah. Ja Rule did it. Why can't we? Ja Rule did it. Yeah, in the Fire Festival documentary. He fucked in space? No, no. Oh, you mean fuck, fuck in zero gravity. I thought you meant like just like hang out, like fuck around. Oh, no. I meant like have sex with a vagina. There is a thousand percent a porno where it's people fucking zero gravity. Yeah, I'll probably look that up tonight. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I need. That's it. Yo, I, I'm kind of curious as to what cum looks like in the air. In zero gravity air. You ever come uh, underwater? I'm. Come on, you have. I don't think I have. We all I, have. I don't think I have. You've never, like, come in water. I don't think. You've talked about this about, like, jerking off in a bath. It's, <laughs> I have done that, and it's disgusting. You basically come Hindsight. in yourself. Not in. Yeah. Not the water's, in. like, uh, like it's not, uh, I, tickling the ivories there. Well, it's not inside me. Well, it could be. I'm not I'm not opening my asshole and accepting bath water. Frankly. I gotta look up what cum looks like in space. I need, to, I need to see what does... Why do you think that's on Google? It's not on Google, Frankie. What also, is, what are you typing in? What does cum look like in zero gravity? It's just going to be like floating... What? <laughs> no, is there a picture? No, but the first thing is when you ejaculate in space, does it push you backwards? That's not a bad question. That's a really good question. Because gum actually comes out at like 20 miles an hour or something, right? Doesn't it? That's a fucking... That's fast. All right. I got nothing here. It's just, I'm pretty just, sure that's true. Uh, there is... Everything you want to know about having sex in space. Do I go ahead and read? Sure. Okay. Oh, there's no captions. Like like this. Oh, no. So then I'm not going to do there's it. There's no headlines. Oh, we don't care about the actual like... I don't think anyone's ever had sex in space. Like, I think people have said, like, there have been zero people in space that have had sex. Because they're all, like, working up there. Like, oh, we, like, for all humankind. Yeah, but, like, you don't get some downtime? Apparently they do, but I, I uh, like, it just said in there, like, there is downtime. But, like, no no downtime to, you know, go down on, time to go down. Time you know? to go down, yeah. Downtime doesn't mean time to go down, yeah. 
Okay. I'm, I can't shake the idea of coming in space right now. Yeah, that would be actually dangerous, masturbating in space, because um, make sure you get all of it. Well, where is it going to... Oh, you mean it's like it's just float like about. floating around? Yeah, it's going to float about. I kind of need to know if it pushes you backwards now. It comes out of you at a, at, a, at a pretty good mile per hour. I imagine that you would probably get some kickback or some recoil. Uh, it is really, really difficult to ejaculate in space, apparently. The penis gets erect by filling up with blood vessels in your penis, but gravity on Earth plays a huge part in that because gravity allows our blood to flow to the lower parts of our bodies. When you're in space, you have far higher blood flow to the more outstretched areas like your head and chest. That makes it difficult to even get... Yo, oh, you get a limp dick in space. Bro, you can't even fuck in space and you guys want to go there? What's wrong with you? <laughs> what is the... Po- if You guys are virgins, if, dude! If, if, if... You were going to space. Wouldn't you want to have sex when you're there? That's why, the only reason why I why go. Why go if there's literally the coolest thing to do you can't do? Or That's I'm, like going to Chuck E. Cheese and just eating. Doing nothing else. You're not going to play in the ball pit? You stupid bitch. NASA has tested astronauts' testosterone levels and they genu- generally drop when they're in space. It takes your fucking mojo. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, space sucks. Space is, is sexist against men. Space is for women. Oh my god, this is wild. I don't know what I'm saying. This is wild. <laughs> Y'all, you know what I would like to do, actually? I'd like to take a shit on the moon. Why? Just leave it there. That would be disgusting. It would like f- You would, like, hang from it. It would, like, float up and, like, you'd be attached to it. You'd have no, to- it's got some gravity, the moon. They're, they're, you saw them walking, bouncing? Yeah, you're if right. If you believe in that. Um, <laughs> I... <laughs> all right, we have ads, Frankie. That's enough about that. Go ahead. Um, all right, let's get to the friends of the show here. Oh! The first one being honey. Guys, if you don't have honey, you're wasting your money. Wow, they should really pay me double for that. Um, But if you don't have honey, you're wasting your money because it is a free online browser extension that you just download. It's free, by the way. Is it free? Did I mention how much it costs? Nothing. It's free. Uh, You download it, and then it scours the internet uh, for promo codes and sales and things like that. So whenever you're checking out, uh, you can save as much money as you possibly can on these things. Um, it supports over 30,000 online stores. They range from sites that have tech and gaming products to popular fashion brands and even food delivery. So everything you can possibly imagine, they have a promo code for it. And it's also a good tool because if you are checking out on some site, it will let you know if you paid the best price for it. It'll say, okay, there's no uh, fucking promo codes or anything for this. So this is the price you pay. So it's great. It saves you money. Uh, Honey has found over 17 million members, over $2 billion in savings, okay? I have Honey on my laptop, on my computer. Anytime I do any sort of shopping, it's great. Uh, You can get it at joinhoney.com slash basement for free. Like I said, downloads in just a few seconds. Joinhoney.com slash basement. Do yourself a favor. Just download it, okay? You're probably on the internet right now. Download it. It'll help you. Uh, Joinhoney.com slash basement to start saving money. Uh, Next here we have MVMT. MVMT. Uh, has expanded into blue light glasses, okay, to protect your eyes from screens. We're all staring at screens 24-7. You're going to need to protect your eyes. Otherwise, they get dried out. And they get, you got to like, it's, it's not good. They get irritated. It's bad. Uh, they also have minimalist jewelry, and they have, uh, I believe they have some other stuff too, which is great. And the watches, obviously. They have the watches. The watches are great. I have like 15 of them. Um, they have the look and quality of four hundred to five hundred dollar watches, like normally in other stores, department stores or whatever. These cost just a fraction of the price, and they're just as nice. I'm rhyming all over this right now. Uh, the blue light gra- glasses are great. They're very stylish. Um, they're amazing. So go check go check them out. MVMT, a lot of cool stuff. Also, uh, on top of them having cool shit, uh, you can get fifteen percent off today with free shipping and free returns by going to mvmt.com slash basement that is mvmt.com slash basement go check them out man they got minimalist jewelry they got the watches the blue light glasses go check them out mvmt.com slash basement 15 percent off today with free shipping and free returns boom and lastly here we have quip uh quip has everything you need in the bathroom okay there's a lot of words here but i know quip enough to just freestyle this shit because i don't really know there's a lot in here i don't know what the hell's going on but they have a lot of stuff they have the gum i just bought this whole thing there's a travel case i put everything in it i use it as my toiletry bag now there's uh, a gum that comes with a refill pack i actually just got my refill pack recently um it has the quip electric toothbrush best toothbrush i've ever used in my entire life and there is, a, for just a fraction of the price, my dog is barking in his sleep. Oh, my God. He is freaking out in his sleep. Oh, he's having a little dream. He's having a dream. Charlie! He's up. Um, 
<laughs> and uh, so the Quip electric toothbrush, best toothbrush ever. Um, it uh, pulses every 30 seconds to know when to switch sides. So you have to brush your teeth in two minutes. Uh, I don't know if anyone knew that. Um, they also have mouthwash now. They have floss. They have everything you need. Go on their site. They have it all. And it comes in like a package. And then they have refill packs for cheap. Um, and they come like every three months. So every three months, it's like, boom, I got a brand new toothbrush. I got a repack, uh, refill on this, on that. It's great. Um, so yeah, to get all this, uh, go to getquip.com slash basement five right now. And you get $5 off a mouthwash starter kit. That's $5 off a mouthwash starter kit, which includes a refillable dispenser and a 90 dose supply of Quip's four times concentrated formula at getquip.com slash basement five. That is G E T Q U I P.com slash basement five. All right. So go get that Quip. Keep your mouth in shape. All right. Last, <laughs> I'm, last I'm going to talk about it. About what? Come in space. You're still hung up on come in space. I have to know. If you ejaculate in no gravity after the semen came out of you, it would want to go directly back. That's but, how gravity... Wait, it like, like, a, like a like a boomerang? You know, like the kids that would fucking spit and suck it. Oh, I fucking hated... What? I hated that. Oh, the kids that would like hang spit and then suck it back up? That's how gravity works. Objects pull on other objects. So if you ejaculated in space, it would be instantly drawn back to you and pull inside your knees or maybe nose or maybe the inside of your belly button. My knees. Like uh, like an orifice, like some part of your area, like body that can like hold liquid. You're telling me if I come in space, it will, f- it will like come back and possibly go like in my ear or the back of my knee? Fuck that. How about your mouth? Well, I just close your mouth. They still come on your mouth. Bro, That's you still- can move your head. <laughs> yeah. I'm not it losing. With, it, it fucking follows you. No, nah, bro. I'm not It's losing. like a homing missile. I'm not losing to my own cum. You might, you might. No. You might. Um, in accordance with Newton's laws, you'll be pushed backwards, but not that much. The average velocity of ejaculation is 45 kilometers per hour. It looks like working on your Kegel exercises can increase this a tiny fraction, but not much. <laughs> 45 kilometers an hour? That's, the that's the kinetic en- energy of the nut is about 0.4 joules. I love how we're getting into the science of this. The n- Oh my god, I haven't heard joules. So hypothetically, a 90 kilogram man nutting a top end load at typical velocity in a frictionless zero gravity environment will be thrown back at 9 centimeters per second. What kind of language is this? What, that's is science, that's, baby. I don't think a scientist would say nut. Well, I mean, maybe not. Ejaculate. Yeah. But like 90 kilograms is how many pounds? How many pounds? I don't know, dude. That's uh, 90... 160? Is it? Or I know nothing. <laughs> Kilograms to pounds. 90 is 198 pounds. 190, that's a big man. Bro. So a 200-pound man is getting thrown back like three, what was it? Like th- basically like four inches a second? Wait. Before you said that cum was coming out at 40 kilometers an hour? How fucking fast is that? I, I Typically at 45 kilometers an hour. Wait, kilometers an hour is is that's that's got to be slower. Kilometers. That's got to be slower than miles per hour. Why can't we all just have the same thing? I hate this country for that reason, bro. <laughs> Twenty-seven miles per hour, dude. That's fast. Yeah, dude. So like, if you're fucking like you're chop chop chopping, and then you sham ching in sham sham ching shim ching. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Patreon.com slash basement yard, uh, <laughs> and you let go. If you're 200 pounds, you'll like go back like what is it like nine centimeters a second? So that's like what like five inches a second. You said nine centimeters a second. Yes, I just converted 2.54 centimeters or in an inch. Oh, so like four or something. So like like this. That's the power, most powerful that's, come in my life. That's crazy. I've also come way hard, like when you even come like hard, and you're like, "Yo, that was a thousand miles an hour, probably." Really? Yeah, yeah. If like realistically, if you stood where you are right now, yeah, where do you think you can hit with your cum? If I'm sitting down, right, like stand up, see, look, stand up and dick out. Oh, I mean, I'm not gonna like. Hit Don't the wall. show me your dick right now. I'm just no, saying. No, I'm not saying that. I'm saying I'm not gonna like hit the wall. I'm not saying that. Where do you think you'll get to? Stop my hand. Wait, you started pretty far. Really? That's it? Bro. If you fucking hold tight and then just give it a point. <laughs> I 
think you could absolutely hit like over here. Like, no, I, I think I. You could hit me. You can hit me. I could come in your face. Yeah. Well, I didn't say face. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Jesus. Why would you do the face? I don't know, bro. Crazy. Oh, well, now we know. Yeah, but I'm not going to space. Fuck this that. All, this all Jeffrey sounds... Bezos, stay up there while you're at it, you son of a bitch. Pay your workers. <laughs> Let them take dumps at least. Yeah. Don't they like, like not take shits? Or they something? have to like run across a like fucking like 15 square mile warehouse just to pee their pants. Yeah, that's a little crazy. I don't know. I don't know what is going on. Fucking Jeff Bezos. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. Anyway. Uh, also, I wanted to talk about because this is I've been going off on Twitter about. Oh boy, Twitter Joe. Uh, Simone Biles. Before you get to that though, patreoncom slash yard, You get every single weekly episode a week in advance. You get in on the jokes. Hey, someone commented on this six days ago, but it came out this morning. How did that happen? Guess what? They're patrons. Also, you get exclusive episodes that nobody else gets the opportunity to see. Yes, I did say episodes. They're, that's what they're <laughs> called. Uh, uh, so go join the patreon.com uh, account right now. patreoncom slash yard. We're almost at 9,500. We probably want to hit 10,000. If we hit 9,500 craziness, if we hit 10,000, Joey said he's going to pee his pants again. So no, I go didn't. check it out. Patreon.com slash the basement yard. All right. Simone Biles. What happened? Oh, I know what happened. I'll let you go, go off though, because I know you're very passionate about this. So Simone Biles, uh, she bowed out of the Olympics in the middle of an event because she was dealing with something. At first it came out that it was going to be like an injury or something, but she was dealing with some sort of, mental health something related to her mental health whether it be stress or whatever now there's this thing they're calling the twisties which is a gymnastic term that i'm not familiar with because i can't cartwheel when when you have you ever seen her jumping and doing those twisties in the air yo i swear to god what she does is not human well what any of these people do i don't really yes. believe in like what they do i'm like i don't really think this is happening i don't know how like she gets that high up after just doing six flips in a row and then it's like flip flip, flip, flip. <laughs> I, yeah, I don't really, like, none of it makes sense to me. I watch gymnasts, and I'm like, I, I don't, I can't believe this is real. It's kind of like watching, like, magic. You're like, I know there's something happening. It's not real. It's got to be fake to a degree, but I know it's not. Yeah, because David Blaine would be a gymnast then. <laughs> Chris Angel. Mind freak. <laughs> Mind freak. Um, but, yeah, and then the world shit its pants because they were upset that she was just, like, bowing out of this thing and... Whatever. She scored poorly on the vault, which is when this happened, right? Okay. I was even saying, right, because during, like, the qualifying rounds or whatever the fuck, and mind you, I'm going to get a lot of this terminology wrong. But right, at the same time, just go for it. But so she, I was looking at her, and every time she went, she could, like, stick a landing or do whatever. Um, But she wasn't really doing too well, but she was doing well enough to qualify. Like, out of her team, her and someone else qualified for some shit. Put it like this. Simone Biles not doing well is still, like, a, a level at which nobody else will be able to hit. Right. And, like, she didn't smile the entire time. She didn't look happy. She looked pretty stressed out. And she looked like whatever. So I was like, something's mad weird. Something's off about this shit. Whatever. Just what happened. So the next day, she's on the vault. And she scores, like, very low. Like, I think she was, like, the third lowest score out of whoever went. And then she just pulled herself. She's like, I can't do this. So I'm like, not going to do it. Um, And people are upset because they think that she was scoring low and she was just choking. And she was like, I need to get out of here. And and like made up that she was having some sort of stress or mental health or whatever. And like, this just goes back to what I was talking about, how the internet is the worst fucking place in the fucking world. Damn right. Because it's so like the internet to have that opinion some dude tweeted me and like this is like it oh my phone's not not, not here um can you pull it up on your phone actually did you retweet him or respond? yes I, I responded i just put a, a a gif a gif or whatever the fuck can we get a universal like we need someone to, like, on that, uh, by the way? tell us like once and for all what is it yeah um if you scroll down you'll see kanye west's face and then that's the tweet uh following 57 people all right you're working on it not that far down uh she quit when she didn't get her landing 100 percent. she knew she would lose and take focus off her losing because she is a self-proclaimed goat when she used mental health as an excuse we all wish we had her problems and i'm like bro 
And like, I, I don't want to like freak out on anyone, but that is such a shit opinion to have. It just sucks because you're basically saying that someone that has the work ethic to get there in the first place is then basically just throwing their hands in the air and saying like, "All right, never mind," which is such a fucking oxymoron. It just makes no sense because people are like, you know, it's the Olympics. Why wouldn't you just like suck it up and do it? And I'm like, do you think she not she doesn't know that? Like, she knows that more than you know that. She has four gold medals. This isn't her first Olympics. Like, dude, my brother was training for the Olympics. And in order to train for the Olympics, right? This was back in, I don't know when the fuck that was actually, but like it was a while ago. But my brother trained for the Olympics, trained four years in Lake Placid. He was doing skeleton. In order to do that, he had to leave his job that he was at, make no money, and just live at the training facility and just train. That was all they did was train for four years. And he didn't even make it to the Olympics. He was a reserve. So if someone got hurt or someone couldn't go or whatever, then he would go. He trained four years just to get to that point. Some people don't make it, and then they do another four years until the next Olympics, and they try to make, on, make it on that team. So this girl has been training for God knows how long. Like She was like recruited when she was younger. I was going to say, if she's, if she's 20 years old, she's been training she's for 24 15 now. years. She won four gold, medal, four, gold medals, four gold medals when she was 20. She's 24 now. So now this girl's 20 years old, wins four gold medals. People recognize her of like, this is like the greatest gymnast we've ever seen in our lives. Like, this is crazy. Mm-hmm. And then you have four years to, to deal with the pressure of that. Now everyone's coming at you and you're getting all these endorsements. And of course, like, oh, self-proclaimed proclaimed goat. Dude, you think that's her or is that fucking Pepsi? <laughs> Being like, just say this. Here's your line. Here's this. Here's the. Pro- We're doing like a, you know, greatest of all time campaign. We're gonna get fucking Tom Brady in here. It's like, do you think they're doing this? Like, these are corporations that are making more money off of this than Simone Biles is. She's not fucking going out there and, and like. Not, do- not only on. that. Not only that. The the idea that like, I don't know where it comes from, but the idea that like athletes like owe it to us to be athletes like when, when fucking they athletes, made the sacrifice when they when when they have literally in whatever sport that you watch or or enjoy or appreciate when they have dedicated their lives to either a be the best at their craft or be fucking entertain you to some degree and then they decide on their terms like hey I can't do this they shouldn't have to think of anyone but themselves they shouldn't have to be like oh my god look at like you look at what you're saying to the people that watch you it's like what I'm saying, first of all, it's easy to say like that she's quitting. That's such a stupid, you know how hard it is for people that deal with mental health to step out and be like, listen, I have issues that I need to work on myself. That right there is a big fucking prop, like yes. a big fat, hard problem to deal with to begin with. So when people sit there and say like, oh my God, they're being irresponsible. They're giving up and stuff like that. That is literally making the situation worse. And you are creating a fucking environment that is victim blaming in a way yeah it's like oh they have stress from all the pressure of the situation and then they're like i i don't know if i could do this and then you then you tell the, then you add more pressure and you tell them like you're letting the country down you do whatever that's like I, I don't i couldn't even like give you an example of what that's like but someone's telling you like i don't like this and then you just like do it right immediately like it's like it's insane behavior also to think that you would know better than her this is arguably at the moment, the greatest gymnast we've ever seen in our lives, already won four gold medals in the last Olympics at 20 fucking years old, or whatever the fuck, and you're saying that she's taking the easy way out. There is no easy way out if you're an Olympian, even if you don't medal, ever. These people, like I said, my brother left his job, gave up four years of his life just to train for this thing for a shot to compete for a medal. And like, like, that's a chunk of your life that like, you're not seeing people you're not going like out to bars with a bunch of different friends you put like you aren't yourself the people you, who are you the, are you are a product you are at the, and you don't even get compensated well by the way in other countries if you win medals you you like get a certain amount of money i think if you get a gold medal you get like fucking 35 grand or something if you get a gold me- if you're the best in the fucking world you know what i mean like they're not compensated you have to be a superstar in order to like receive whatever and you have to hope that your sport is like popular because who I, there could who won the gold medal for fucking shooting who the fuck no who gives a <laughs> shit you know like that's how this works like whatever but she's in a, a popular sport wins four gold medals now people are saying that she's taking the easy way out guys you don't even know what it's like to work that hard how the would you even know? 
How would you know? You don't it's know like what the, it's like. I love the people that are like, oh, she's giving up on her country. She's giving up on her fucking teammates and stuff. Giving like, up on her you country. You think for a single second her teammates are like, Simone, how, how dare you? How dare you fucking do what you feel is right by you? All of them are there. And, and second of all, this is someone that has already had to overcome a lot of stuff. If I'm not going to sit here and say the words because I know YouTube is not so happy when certain words are used, go and look up what Simone Biles has already had to overcome and then call her a quitter uh, because that is the farthest thing from the fucking truth. Yeah, it's just like insane, bro. Like, and, and like that goes for like, like I said, any fucking Olympian, any sort of like, what, like, bro, these people are human beings. They're not like, and another dude tweeted me something and I'm like, I wanted to go through the screen and just fucking kill this guy. Cause it was like, that's the internet. It was, it was, he basically said something about, um, the point of you being at the Olympics is for your country to bring it back home to your country. And I want to be like, Hey man, no, it's not. It, it is, but it isn't because the country doesn't give a fuck about them. And that's the same thing for like, clearly fucking people who are in the military. It's all a fucking show. Everyone talks about the military. Oh, thank you for your support. Why is there homeless veterans? Why do they come back and they're, they all have PTSD and everyone kind of just like, no one gets hired. People go, there's, they're, they go homeless. These people shouldn't have to pay for anything for the rest of their lives. You make the ultimate sacrifice. You go to war, you fight for this country. You have to kill people for this country and then you come home and people just let you s sit on the sidewalk and be fucking homeless and you, step over you you're created uh, you're created into this fucking in lack of better terms killing machine and then when you get back you're look you're let go by the people that created you because of the fact that they created you to be that way so and then uh, obviously not as crazy as that you train your whole life to go to the olympics to represent the united states you win four gold medals you and then you are labeled as the greatest gymnast of all time and then when you get to the point where it feels like there's a lot of pressure on you and there's whatever and you feel like you're not performing well because of that also not to mention this is a very dangerous sport if you're not performing well and you're not in the right, my, right mindset and look up this thing called the twisties that the gymnasts are all talking about now which is a very real thing it's like vertigo for gymnasts where like you can land on your fucking neck and go paralyzed. If this girl went paralyzed because fucking idiots on the internet are like, you have to represent our country, I would lose my mind and go on a killing spree. Bro, you ever that. see that Final Destination movie? People can die from shit. Especially gymnast <laughs> shit. It happens. It fucking happens. Yeah, it's fucking no, insane. It, and listen, I'm not going to discuss... Also, wait, one thing oh, I want to okay, say Joey's also. time. Joey's time. The fucking... The one girl who did it years ago on like a broken foot, Carrie Strug, whatever the fuck her name is, people are like, oh, she did it. She... That's a fuck... That's fucking stupid. Yeah. Why would she do that? Guess what? Shouldn't, she shouldn't have done it. You're literally just supporting the point. It is it, She should not have been there. She not been have, there, but like she shouldn't have done that either. Yeah, because it's like, bro, and I'm sure there was some, her coach was like in her ear, like, I swear to fucking God, you will not eat tonight if you don't <laughs> fucking do this handspring. Like, bro, it's so fucking ridiculous. And the last thing I want to say is ask yourself why you care. You don't. No one gives a shit about all these people who are saying this don't give a shit about gymnastics. You don't follow gymnastics. You watch the Olympics and you have this fake sense of patriotism when you're watching this because we're competing against other countries. That's why. And so you're like, oh, you need to win. The, how can our best player not? You're fu you don't even give a fuck. Yeah. People don't have their, their identity now is to just be upset and go with the. It's so funny that the people that are sitting there and be like, oh, sheep, sheeple, wake up, sheeple, are going along with another form of the fucking wave. They're just riding the wave in just another form. And everyone's identity now, I, I know I was recently telling you this. I, there are identities now of people and personalities that just have to be mad about anything and everything. And it's fucking exhausting. Listen, guess what? All these people that are like, yo, like I would never give up on my fucking, you wouldn't, you wouldn't be in the position to, to fucking give up on anyone because you're sitting at home, you're a loser. And why is it wrong? Why is it bad for someone to acknowledge that they have issues that they need to, uh, excuse me, address and fucking remove themselves from any situation. Why is that wrong? I'll tell you what. Hey, guess what? Spoiler alert. It's not fucking wrong. It's the right thing to do. If you need to say to yourself, like, listen, I need to do what's best for me and remove myself from the situation because it is toxic and it is going to harm me. That's the right thing to do because unfortunately, history has shown that if you do power through and you do come out on the other side and you still have those mental illnesses, you're not gonna be treated well at all. And that's the reality of the situation. And I'm not, we're not even addressing the elephant in the room with this because there happens to be something about Simone Biles that makes people treat her 
uh, a little bit different. I don't know what you're referring to. Uh, <laughs> really? Same reason why people don't like LeBron James? Oh. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not even bringing that up. I'm not even going to sit here and say that that's part of the conversation. All I'm saying here is that there, there is this manufactured anger and, and resentment toward people that need to remove themselves and work on themselves when they're, when they're in a position when they're supposed to be. And like there are people that are like, oh, she quit on her team. I guarantee her team is like, do what you need to fucking do. Yeah, obviously. Not only that, but it was a team event and she pulled herself from the event because she felt like she, she couldn't do a good job. And then they won silver. Like they meddled, guys. Is it gold or bust in this country? What the fuck are we talking about That's here? That's it. Number one. Like, guys. If you ain't first, you're last. That's the U.S., babe. It's so, it's so crazy, man. People don't care. People do not give a shit. It's so fucking fake. It, it, it bothers me beyond belief. And also, Tim Dillon put out a good tweet that I, that I liked because it was like, she shouldn't be chastised for bowing out, but we don't have to throw a party because she did this either, right? Which I agree with. I get the notion of people being like, she's so brave. To re- Honestly, and you guys know how I am. When I, like, I'm all for all this shit. But it's getting pretty fucking annoying and repetitive that every time someone does anything, it's like, you're brave. Like, the word brave is getting fucking thrown around like fucking crazy now. And it's like, it's getting annoying. Like, if you are dealing with something, they're athletes, bro. They're people. If, if fucking the Super Bowl... Fucking Tom Brady was like, I'm not playing because I'm dealing with shit. I don't think that I deserve an answer. I, I'm a fan. Like, I'm, not, I'm definitely not a fucking fan of the team. But if you're a fan of the Bucks, then you'd be like, oh, I, why? Like, why? Like, bro, you don't need an answer. And, like, I think it's weird that people think they, they deserve one. For doing what? You watch from the couch, dog. You support? Awesome. Way to go. And so even a little different there was like, oh, maybe you buy tickets, you do this but and that. But that's what it is. How are you supporting gymnastics? That's what it is. The idea of subtlety is out the fucking window. You're either so fucking happy that it happened or you are so angry that it happened. You are either so with it and you want to celebrate that people did it or you need to fucking... Listen, I get that there have been certain ways and, you know, uh, people or, or actions have been treated through history. That doesn't mean that you need to then blow it up to the proportion to then bring it to a sense of normalcy. If you treat something as if like, hey, good for her, we wish her the best, do what you need to do, we'll see you down the road, great. That's how it should be. If you sit there and it's like, this is the most important thing that has happened in the history of our sport, like, yo, chill the fuck out. Like, why can't people just not weaponize any and every opinion that they have now? Why does everything need to be, it is my end of the spectrum and I'm going to use it to destroy your argument and not just be like, yo, I have my opinion, you have your opinion, let them ride. Let them fucking chill and coast in the middle. When everyone now, everyone has a big old dick and wants to show their fucking dick to everybody. Don't. It's so, it's like, we, I feel like it, like, how can it go on like this? And this is why, like, this goes back to, like, the conversation we had about, like, why I hate social media so much now. It's like, everyone, and honestly, I think it's mostly just Instagram, like, where, that I despise. Like, I don't really... I try not to use it anymore. Like I put an hour time limit that I can use. Like, you know, like apps have limits. I put an hour on it and I don't go, but cause like, I feel like everyone on there is like fake caring about a thousand things every single day. Like it used to be fun. It's not fun anymore. And I'm not using it. It's not a fucking activism app. I'm, I'm gr- like, I definitely think that it's, we, there should be activists and people should be aware of certain things. And I keep myself informed about everything, but Bro, every day, sometimes I just want to, like, be entertained or see something funny or whatever. Like, I don't want to see fucking videos of dogs being shot and killed in fucking China or something every three days. And like, it's like, I, I'm sorry. You don't care about this? You're part of the problem. Yeah, and it's like, bro, yeah, I do. Just not fucking today. Like, because, you know what I'm saying? Like, I got to care about every fucking problem in the world. I'll go insane. Like, I just want, like, it's sometimes you just want, like, some fun shit, whatever. Like, it, it's like... I don't know, man. And, like, it, it just becomes everyone's personality is to do that. It's it's just really fucking annoying. And, and the bro, the Simone Biles thing is just, like, it's... it's here's an appropriate reaction. This is the reaction I had. I hope she's all right. That's it. That, that, yo, that was it. almost to a T, my exact reaction. I was like, oh, wow, okay. That's it. It's like, damn, she must be going through some shit. If you're going to sit there... And I know, like, it's not just, like... <laughs> 
it, it, yes, uh, like the people that are screaming on Twitter are part of the problem as well. Hey, guess guess who else is part of the problem? ESPN is part of the problem. Fucking NBC, CNN, the Daily News, uh, you know, fucking Fox News. You know, all of them are part of the problem too. So don't just sit there and be like, I'm just attacking you. I am attacking you because you're an idiot too. You're not. We love you. Uh, Patreon.com slash basement yard. But also like... <laughs> It's fucking all these bigger problems. Like, sure, Disney owns CNN, uh, not CNN. Disney owns fucking ESPN. They're part of the problem. Like, it's 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 just shut up. Just everyone just shut up. How many times do we have to say this? You don't need to talk about everything and anything that happens at every single point in time. Sometimes you can just say, well, I'm not involved. I don't know. I don't need to get involved." Now, if you need, if you want to hold conversations about it, maybe educate yourself a little bit. Maybe look you know, for actual information on these instead of just sitting there and getting all your news sources from one fucking place. Just, just fucking Dude, if, if you, like, here, this is very simple for me. Because like I said, my reaction when I heard that was happening, I was like, what the fuck? Like, it must be something, like, crazy for her to do that. My, this is a person who has trained their entire life. They know hard work. They've won, they've won gold medals. They know what it takes. They're the greatest of all time. For them to back out must be pretty fucking serious. I didn't think she was lying. I don't think that you're that type of person. I don't think you take the easy way out when you train your whole life doing gymnastics. I don't think you're the person that takes it takes the easy way out when you win gold medals, when you put the team on your back, when you're when you are when you're twenty fucking four. Also, no one even thought about this. She is twenty four years old and now and she was dealing with all the pressure of being the greatest of all time, being labeled as that, being marketed as that by all these companies that are making tons of money off of her. And then she gets the, then the Olympics comes, there's the pandemic, so the, it doesn't happen. So we're all in isolation. Depression and anxiety goes soaring through the air for everyone in the world, including this girl, I'm sure. And you have to train for another year. Then the Olympics comes around and then you go and then you can't be around any of your friends and family. You're just by yourself. You don't think that sounds like a high stress situation? You don't think that sounds like a nightmare? You don't think that sounds a little different than any other fucking Olympics ever? Like, can we have some sort of fucking empathy? You think everything's fucking... And listen, if you're a person who is still going on about this and you're like upset that she won't compete or whatever, you're a fucking nerd. You're a bitch, dude. Like, get a life. Get a life. You know why people don't really care as much as you? Because they have shit going on. When you have nothing going on and you get home and you sit on the couch and you try to make an impact on the world by having a contrarian opinion... You're a miserable fucking asshole. Get a life. Just get a life. It's sad. It's sad to see. You go on Twitter right now, you find another person firing off new tweets about how Simone Biles is a coward and does it. They're miserable. They're miserable. They're going to be dead at 55 because they're going to drive themselves nuts. They got nothing going on. Get a life. Telling you, there is something so ironic about you having the, like this passionate of an argument and wearing that shirt. <sighs> Larry David, good old Larry. Speaking of goats, very true. <laughs> what, how do you think Larry? Uh, okay, I don't think he even knows the Olympics is going on. No, he definitely does. <laughs> he definitely does. This is oh, a, a Make America Great Again hat. I know uh, exactly what it is. Yeah, that was a good episode. Hundred, maybe even ninety-eight. Degrees in here right now. I'm dying in here. You're hurting. Yeah, we gotta get the fuck out of here. We gotta go. But yeah, at the end of the day, do whatever the fuck you want. I don't give a fuck. Yeah, I don't care for you. I do. I, it's weird. I'm part of it. I'm part of the problem, Joey. Small piles. How dare she? Uh, F Alvarez eight zero eight five on Twitter. The Frank Alvarez on Twitch and Instagram. Are we wrapping up? Yeah, I figured we were. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so go check it out. patreoncom slash yard. You can go check out everything Santa Gata Studios does. It's good. It's fun. It's great. Other people's lives. Uh, you know, the base me yard. Go check it out. There's some good stuff there. Yep, you guys can follow me at Joe Sanagato and go follow the show at the base me yard on TikTok and Instagram and uh, our Patreon, patreon.com slash the base me yard. You get every episode a week ahead and new episodes exclusive on Patreon every Friday. And that is all. See you guys next yeah. time. Yeah.